Here we go with this serious stuff. You do realize that it's been four more years for almost all of our adult lives. And I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm frankly sick and tired of these motherfuckers. And every so often I start thinking about them and some of their, you know, more obvious faults. This is called New Thoughts on Gluttony. It gets a little vicious, so if you squeamish, might want to go to the car or something. <laughs> It's kind of evil. Good. When it comes to the choice between gluttons and vipers, go with the gluttons. Learn young and well the lessons of renegade want, of desire beyond control of the squeamish. Look at the screaming blue sky, yum. Take a bite out of it, then spit it on the floor for your mongoose. Barbecue a whooping crane or a baby condor for all I care. Their beaks are aphrodisiacs, you know, and rainbows. Here's a map showing you where all the rainbows are scheduled to appear for the next few months. Follow them around the globe, collecting pots full of florin, shillings, lira, shekels, dinero, rubles, yen. It'll be a terrific tour, unless one of Genghis Khan's Bashkashi playing distant cousins decide it might be worth a lap or two to fling your head into a tent full of menstruating dervishes. Gluttony. Can you get your mouth over the Matterhorn? Can you have the waters of Baden-Baden pumped to your hot tub in Palm Springs? Sure, everything is available for a price. For a price, you want an 11-year-old virgin? Triplets? It'll cost you, but it's possible. Get a grant to spank the Rockefeller cousins on stage at the Grand Ole Opry, broadcast live over armed service radio. The boys and the sublings love that kinky shit. But of course, kinky is expensive, but we don't care. We have more money than God and can't spend it fast enough. You need some land? So buy every estate in the back of the New York Times magazine. All of them. But then, be an eccentric and live in your Pontiac about six blocks downhill. <laughs> about six blocks downhill from the Regan's new digs in Bel Air. Hire an actress to live there with you and throw feces at them when they ride by on their perfect Palominos. You want Nancy's horse? Sure. Okay, you superstitious one, kid it all bag. Hit the bricks and start walking. Gluttony is wonderful. Study the superstars of avarice. Ask the Helmsleys if you can board your jellyfish in one of their 18 pools or 47 fountains. Just don't ask for a glass of water. <laughs> ask Mr. Trump if you can have a casino or if he'll build you a huge bingo hall in the middle of the Everglades. You can have every dumb Seminole, Haitian, redneck, and geezer within 200 miles bust in and never let anyone win. <laughs> You get to keep all the money and all the alligators. Make all the really fat women strip off the polyester and pray naked. Take your pick. Take that gimp in the wheelchair out to the parking lot and drive about 100 kilos of cocaine on it from 1,200 feet. Oh boy, Christmas in May in Florida. It's easy. And it doesn't matter if you buy it or steal it as long as you get it. And it doesn't matter if you squander it, waste it, or ruin it just for practice. Just make sure you don't let anyone else have any. <laughs> Only one of you can have everything. And sharing is cheating. And cheaters have to go live in the slums around potato farms. Fraud is encouraged, especially for profit. More is more, and bigger is bigger. Steal entire banks and hide them in your underwear. <laughs> just remember... Gluttons eventually get everything, even the vipers. Here they come now. A hundred billion snakes crawling down Fifth Avenue, thinking they were invited to your wedding. They've got the cathedral surrounded. 
And you can hear them chewing on the stairs even as the Juilliard strings play that little Gilbaldi wedding ditty. Tell the nice man in the red hat to go out and tell the bikers to go across the street and eat sacks instead. Perfume is just delicious and Link's coats are full of fiber. Vipers are easily diverted and have notoriously short attention spans. Gluttons, on the other hand, are miracles of focus. Everybody wants everything, and everyone can have it, but only for three seconds, and then, oh well, bon appetit. <laughs>